exceptional reunion at UNMC. Ten years ago yesterday, the first Ebola patient to come to Nebraska Medicine's biocontainment unit was released. And today, Rick Sacra caught up with the people who cared for him. KETV News Watch 7's Aaron Hagerty was there. He joins us here in the studio. Aaron. Yeah, Julie, Rob, for three long weeks in September 2014, Dr. Rick Sacra fought and recovered from the Ebola virus here in Omaha. Now, Nebraska Medicine says their biocontainment unit is at the forefront of preparing for the most dangerous viral threats. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Nebraska one, Ebola zero. Yeah. Ten years ago, Rick Sacra gets the all clear. Now, a warm welcome back to Omaha. You all really were the, the hands of Jesus to me and, and an answer, you were an answer to prayer, to the prayers of my family and of uh, many others. Thursday, the doctor who caught Ebola while caring for patients in Liberia returned for only the second time since that day. Well, at first I was like, Nebraska, I mean, I'm from Massachusetts. I was like, why am I going to wait in Nebraska? I don't know anything about that. But then once I got here and saw the amazing preparations, I mean, I hadn't heard about this unit before. Before he arrived as the unit's first patient, not many had. So prior to that day, uh, for nine years, we begged and I mean begged <laughs> anyone to notice us. But now the doctor who led the CDC's clinical Ebola response team says there's lasting impact from the hospital's work caring for three Ebola patients. This really contributed to optimizing supportive care of patients with Ebola virus disease everywhere. An experience Sankra remembers well, not just because of the virus that had him extremely ill. They just went above and beyond. Somebody had her mom fix runzas for me. They made me an honorary Huskers fan. They brought me a shirt so I could wear my t-shirt while I watched the game. After making peace with death in this room a decade ago, he's around to say thank you. You gave me my life back. And the Nebraska Biocontainment Unit cared for three Ebola patients. One of them, Dr. Martin Salia, passed away in November 2014. In 2020, the unit also cared for some of the country's first COVID patients. Back to you. Aaron, thanks. So critical. It's here.